Yes, you 
are. You guys wanted to wrestle tonight? No, 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 no. Let me take that back. Do you want to see him get his butt kicked? I'm going to give you a match tonight. Former AWF champion, Jaden Roller. Take a step out of the ordinary at Harry Mosquito Trading Company, making old memories new again. A non-traditional trip down memory lane, Harry Mosquito brings artisans together in a community setting full of music, food, and festivities. Harry Mosquito also buys full and partial estates. Contact them today or stop in. You'll never know what you'll find. Harry Mosquito Trading Company, open all year round. Are your old electronics or appliances taking up space? B&E Recycling has you covered. B&E will buy your aluminum, cans, copper, brass, wire, stainless, and radiators. They accept batteries, tin, scrap steel, and scrap iron. Even miscellaneous items from fluorescent bulbs to cardboard. B&E will dispose of your old appliances and electronics. Visit B&E online today for the latest rates and online exclusive coupons. B&E Recycling, Highway 10, Elk River. Tony Danucci here. Are you having credit problems? Not anymore. Here at Brandle Motors, we guarantee credit approval in a new or newer car. No matter what the temperature, it's always 70 year round on our show floor and it's a huge inventory. I guarantee your loan will be approved, so stop by our little fall store and check us out or go to BrandleMotors.com and tell them Tony sent you. Hi, my name is Dan Gould. I personally guarantee that you will not find a better diamond engagement ring at a better price anywhere else. Please stop by and let me prove it to you at downtown Anoka on 2nd Main, right next to Jensen. Introducing from Los Angeles, California, he weighs 234 pounds, Shaden Roller! And Darren Corbin, not a wrestler here in the AWF that is usually lost for words, but when you told him that he was gonna have to get in the ring tonight, Tony Danucci, and take on Jaden Roller, he shut up pretty darn quick. Like a spoiled little baby, huh? Absolutely right. Darren Corbin was in a good mood it had appeared when he did not think that he would have to get into the squared circle and compete tonight. But he's getting in there with one of the top talents on our roster, former AWF heavyweight champion, that being Jaden Roller. Just so much talent with this young man. Oh, yeah, he's going to the top. He's, he's a, he is a future, and I'm gonna say it, DJ, he's a future WWE superstar. That very well could be. And there goes the bell. And <laughs> Darren Corbin gonna get in a pose down with Jaden Roller. That'd be like you getting in a White Castle leading contest with me or something. Yeah. <laughs> wow. A another one of those, Corbin really loves himself. He does, and I mean, his he's got a decent amount of upper body strength, but it's not like his physique is all that cut or no. impressive at all, really. <laughs> And I think you might even be being a little complimentary, well, actually. When you're in there with someone like Jaden Roller. Yeah, the kid looks great. Oh, man. Look at that. Not even close. Not even a prayer for Darren Corbin in competing on a test of strength with Jaden Roller right now. Plenty of a hair pull. Darren Corbin can be a little bit more creative than that when looking for excuses as to why he's down on the canvas. Well, got to hand it to him. Yeah, it Corbin. is leverage. But this. Wait a minute. 
Corbin. Face planted right on the canvas. Look at that. <laughs> I like it. Humor with physicality. It's a good mix. Aaron Corbin having, having a rough <laughs> night thus far. He is, absolutely. You liked it when I said his clothes look like girls' clothes he's in gonna, again. He's going to cry, it looks like, almost. He is like a little girl. He almost looks like you should brush up there with the tissue or something. <laughs> or maybe he just needs a shoulder to cry on, maybe you could offer one of those. Uh, yeah, not today. Side headlock now from Darren Corbin, who for as much of a jackass as he's been making himself out of right now, very, very accomplished as a professional wrestler competing all over North America as well as Europe. What is he doing? You know, he, uh, he might be borderline nuts. Oh, this isn't this isn't the uh, Pan Am Games or anything like that in no. the gymnastics competition. Or he looked like he belonged at a carnival. He was staying on his head without his hands. Right. Ouch. We want to talk about freak shows around this company. Maybe Patient X can go hang out with Darren Corbin on the road sometime. Who the hell knows? <laughs> Something. Jaden Roller now side headlock, former champ. And you know what? That's not to say he couldn't be the champ again because he's got... Oh, oh my. <laughs> he took him up. That's what you call taking a man out of his boots. Shoulder tackle Out of like his that. boots. As you were saying, Tony, yeah, certainly uh, he has not reached the ceiling, I don't think, of his no. potential here in the AWF, even having been a former champion. And as much as I don't like the champion... He couldn't have lost it to one of a better talent uh, is, you know, the natural Nick Nelson. Phenomenal, phenomenal talent. Kind of a jerk, yes, but the guy's good. Totally. Corbin getting in there now. Look at this. Drop toe hold. You know, for someone like, like Darren Corbin, who's been around this business for 13, 14 years, to just fall for that trap. Has it, has it been that long? Has he oh, yeah. really been around that yeah. long? Oh! The elbow drop. He get all the elbow and more. One, two, two count only. And here is where Darren Corbin requesting a timeout, which the rules committee has had various conversations over the years of whether or not those should be implemented. They have not yet done so. And here now Darren Corbin. Oh, look at that! But took the man's head off with the Ooh. assistant of the second rope. He's proud of himself. Corbin circling the ring as if he just won the bout. East Central Sports is your one-stop shop for ATVs, dirt bikes, UTVs, go-karts, and snowmobiles, all starting as low as $499. We offer free delivery and 12-month interest-free financing to make purchasing easy and affordable. Check us out at eastcentralsports.com or stop by our North Branch, Minnesota location today. Don't let a broken car break your wallet. Get affordable car repair service at Precision Tune Auto Care in Elk River, Minnesota. From brake repair to oil changes, pretty much any car problem you have, we can fix it. We've shopped the competition, but our rates are as low as they get. Plus, we have online specials for even lower prices. So if you've got a car problem, we've got the solution. Located at 18850 Dodge Street in Elk River, Minnesota, next to Perkins and the Academy. Precision Tune Auto Care. BC Marathon Transportation in Elk River, Minnesota is currently hiring full-time drivers. These openings include two van drivers and two flatbed drivers. One year of experience and a CDL Class A license is required. These positions include a full benefit package and up to $2,000 sign-on bonus. Fill out an application online at bcmarathontransportation.com or stop by our Elk River location today. 
Main Street Music and Electronics has been the premier one-stop music shop in Elk River for more than 30 years. We buy, sell, trade, and rent guitars, amps, drums, orchestral and band instruments, keyboards, sheet music, pro audio, and DJ equipment. Quality band instrument rentals start at just $8 per month with free maintenance. You can schedule private lessons with one of our qualified instructors. We even repair your instruments, amplifiers, TVs, and other electronics on site. So stop in today and see why. Dad, you're what? I just love coming to Minnesota Equipment. You walk through these doors and it's just truly amazing. With the gator, the tractors, the excavator, the skid steer, and all those small power tool equipment that Minnesota Equipment provides, this farm would not function. I decided on Minnesota Equipment for three reasons. The honesty of the sales force, the quality of the machinery, and lastly, service. John Deere is very reliable, and the service at Minnesota Equipment is very personal. John Deere has a piece of equipment for every need on our farm, and Minnesota Equipment is always there to support us when we need it. Darren Corbin can get into his element with a full head of hair, grabbing the Come on. man right to the canvas. Darren Corbin perhaps trying to get in a position where he can hit his great trademark ginger snap finishing hold. Oh, big elbow right to the side of the skull. Perhaps got him in the jaw a bit there. Another one. And I hit him right in the eardrum, perhaps. And these fans, ever since he came through the curtain, have been getting under the skin of Darren Corbin. And as he does not turn his back to see what's behind him. Don't turn your back on anybody. Because this is what's going to happen. These fans getting under the skin of Darren Corbin absolutely to his detriment and to his chances of success in this contest. How many gets out of the way there? What is he? No. He's wrapping his oh, hair man. around oh, the man. rope. Come on. That's got just absolutely un unacceptable conduct in the ring, and the referee needs to stop that immediately. If I find out, if I found out Alec Spenson. Alex whatever, Alex Palix has been drinking. There's trouble. Been drinking? Well, he's, he's missing calls like he's got a buzz on. Come on. Are you accusing referee James Benson of indulging in fortified wine before officiating contests? I'm not saying he did it. But I'm not saying that he did, so what am I doing? I don't know. Cover one, one count only. But look at his hair. I mean, my God, his, I've, I've never seen it. Looks like he put his head in a dryer. Oh, Benson? Yes. Oh, I thought you were talking about Darren Corbin. No, he looks like he put his hair in a light socket. The senior official here, James Benson, down there trying to see if Jaden Roller says he quits. Right hands. Oh, Corbin buries the knee deep that time. You knew it was coming, too. He was right on top of him right away. He did not let him get the momentum going at all. Cover hook of the leg. One, two. This could do it. Nope. Drops the knee in Jaden Roller he's now. Just so pr everything he does, he's so proud of him. I just can't stand that type of a guy. Well, he's had a measurable amount of success. Absolutely. He's won some big matches over the years. He's competed in very, very high profile contests. Let me ask you, what's, I'm gonna give you one word. What is wrong with being humble? Well, I mean, some people just don't have that in their DNA and Darren Corbin is one of those people as he goes to the top rope, taking a lot of time. Jaden Roller though, prone on the canvas. What's Corbin gonna do? Went for the he's gonna do a big smash. belly flop is what he's gonna do. That had to hurt. Looks like his face just accordion back into his neck. He might not be moving after that. He's in an awkward looking position. Jaden Roller now. These fans finally starting to get behind him. Big clothesline oh, from the former champ. Wow. 
trademark knee lift connecting as well. Tornado clothesline and Jaden Roller now in firm control of the direction of this contest. Big splash. Sends him over for the back body drop. Listen to that from Corbin. And now Jaden Roller electing to go to the top turnbuckle. This is a high, a very, very high risk maneuver. Oh, underneath. Wait a minute. Oh, outside in. That was close. Right hand from Corbin. This now Corbin picks him up. No, not able to get him up. Roller successfully blocking him. And now Corbin may be top rope yet again. Every time somebody goes to the top, I hold my breath because it's just such a high risk thing. You know there was a day, DJ, where they were, were not allowed to go to the top oh, rope. indeed. And even more recently than that, you got five seconds or you were DQ'd. Th this is how old I am, okay? We know I'm old. We know you're old, yeah, no need to. The top rope rule was with the AWA. It stopped when I was there about Seven Look at this, seven. Tony. No one cares. Whoa. They're on the ropes. Holy Toledo. As Tony Danucci's giving us the history of pro wrestling, we've got high impact offense from Jaden Roller. We Kaden absolutely Roller. do. He's on the Big axe handle. He connected with that, brother. Thought I was calling a match with Tony Danucci, not Jordan Shire, for goodness sakes. Ooh, look at that. Drops the leg right on the back of his head. Neck breaker could do it right now, but no. Oh, into the referee, Benson. And a low blow. And a roll up, one, two, three, and that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this bout, Darren Corbin. Darren Corbin, the winner, but Tony Danucci getting in there. And I don't know. Darren. Corbin after that low blow, and Danucci's not impressed. Darren Corbin's got a surprise waiting for him when he turns around. Look at that. Oh my. Tony Danucci just power bombed Darren Corbin. Unbelievable turn of events here at Cambridge Ice Santi. We saw what had occurred. Jaden Roller there who was in control of the bout on his way to a victory until the referee got knocked senseless a little bit there. And Jaden Roller in there with Tony Danucci following that big, big power bomb. Nonetheless though, Darren Corbin, your winner. Not looking like he got the best end of things here though at the back to school bash. RVS Performance specializes in aftermarket accessories, parts, and performance tuning on ATVs and side-by-sides. With over 20 years of experience, RVS Performance has the knowledge necessary to handle everything from basic tunings to custom cages and bumpers. Check us out online at rvsperformance.com or stop by our North Branch location today. Satellite Experts is East Central Minnesota's local internet, television, and home security provider. We offer nationally recognized brands like Exceed, Dish Network, DirecTV, CenturyLink, and Vivint Home Automation. With more than seven years of service in our local community, Satellite Experts employs local technicians to make installation quick and hassle-free. Give us a call or stop by our East Bethel location today. Ramsey Bicycle is the top bike shop in the Twin Cities, specializing in truck bikes, but carrying a vast array of other brands as well. We also carry all of the attachments and accessories you're looking for. Don't forget, we also repair and maintain your bikes. So visit us today at Highway 10 in Ramsey.
the following contest. It is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the American Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, making his way to the ring, the challenger, he hails from Baldwin Hills, North Dakota. Weighing in at a spelt 230 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, Nick the Natural Nelson. Wow is all like, tell me this kid has not come unbelievably leaps and bounds from when he first started. Oh, I totally agree with you, Tony Danucci here. Just <laughs> it, I'm two just, plus years in. Uh -huh. I, I literally, I got tingles watching this kid come down. He is, it's, it's, the energy level is insane. From the crowd, from him, he just exudes it. Main event time here from Cambridge Ice Santi here with the AWF on 45 TV. DJ Draper with Tony Danucci, the title belt at 18 pounds of gold on the line. The challenger and former champion Nick the Natural Nelson trying to regain that title belt after only having it for a very brief period of time as he squares off against the current champion, Jacob Savage, who defeated the former champ, Jaden Roller, in a just absolutely memorable match. But all that is, may as well be ancient history right now with these two locking up. What? Nelson saying that he, that Savage was trying to give him a wet willy or something? What the hell's that? I don't buy that for a minute. I don't think you do either. Well, no. I'm just calling it as I see it. A wet willy. Come on. Well, I guess a couple weeks ago I made some reference to the hostess bankruptcy so we can work anything into this commentary. <laughs> both men trying to gain the upper hand when it comes to upper body strength and both men have a great deal of it. No, let's be honest too, Nick Nelson, the natural Nelson has come leaps and bounds too. It's another guy that has come so fast up the ladder. Nelson side headlock applied. A power there. Leap frog, oh! Jacob Savage barely over the top of the six foot six Nick Nelson. And Savage, I think Savage was gearing up to. I thought he was going over. Maybe try something inside out. He, oh no, this is way too early for this. I, I have to figure. I would have thought. Savage, oh my God. Just took Nick Nelson right out in the ringside. Wow, the, he's barefoot. How the heck do you do that? And he lands right on his feet like nothing happened. Like nothing happened. You're such a gifted athlete, Jacob Savage. 